The National Security uh, Secretariat has set up an emergency command center to identify and monitor hotspots ahead of the 2016 general elections. The pilot facility is expected to play a critical role in curbing any unrest. Our reporter Edward Kwabi has more. With about eight months to the November polls, security services within the country are beefing up mechanisms to safeguard the country's peace before, during, and after the polls. President Mahama has inspected a new facility, housing monitoring devices including computers for tracking CCTV camera footages from various parts of the capital. National security is positioning itself to douse any unforeseen trouble. You can look at it as uh, a call center for the security agencies, the police, the BNI, National Security Coordinating Secretariat, uh, fire service, ambulance service, and research are all expected to be part of it. We will develop the processes, integrated processes, that enable them to respond to various threats accordingly and make sure that they ensure uh, the safety of all of us. The other important aspect is that for the various operatives in the field, like the uh, foot uh, policemen, uh, the agencies, etc., they have handheld terminals that enable them to take pictures and send back to the central command center if there is an issue. Meanwhile, the president has presented 200 vehicles to the BNI, Ghana Prisons, the Narcotics Control Board, and the National Security Secretariat to assist it in its operations. Having the national security agencies carry out their mandate has been a shortage of vehicles to allow them to be more mobile and be able to um, carry out their duties effectively and so I ask that a procurement be made to cover the security agencies. This is the first phase. We're expecting additional vehicles and um, other security agencies will benefit like the Ghana uh, Armed Forces and um, also the Ghana Police Service. We're bringing additional vehicles for the Ghana Police Service in order that they can be as mobile as possible. We're also making arrangements for the Ghana National Fire Service.